you think that 20 years ago, one could have imagined that there would be a virtual space used to learn new things, or that you could study the career of your dreams from here without having to travel? The arrival of the new millennium has put us in a different world, a world where knowledge has a privileged position. But knowledge doesn't come out of nowhere. It is necessary to create conditions for it to bloom. And that is why in our country, a transformation has been put into motion to tune us into the challenges of this century. A transformation in which you and all of us are key players. The education transformation process in our country began with the Constitution of 91, the General Education Law of 94, and the 30th Law of 1992, called Educational Revolution, an idea that has turned into actions and a way of thinking about planning and carrying out education. The core of this transformation is that we learned that if education strengthens individuals, explores their talents, and creates conditions for their development, they grow, and so the country grows as well. However, for this revolution to really have the expected impact, it had to be connected to the Colombian reality to the needs of the different ethnic groups, to the various regions in the country, to people of all ages, with a clear understanding that we are a part of a global process that changes from day to day. You are probably asking yourself what are the basic actions of this revolution? Let's look at them. First, education is for everyone and for life. Second, education is for innovation and competitiveness. Third, Educational institutions must be strengthened. Fourth, education is a process that must be in permanent modernization. Fifth, education is a process in which all of us participate. Let's talk about the first one, lifelong learning for all. An education devised for and designed so everyone, everyone, everyone can have access to it. For those with resources and those without. For those starting life and for those who have lived for many years. For those far away or nearby an educational institution. For those who want to be a baker or who want to be a philosopher. These are great ideas! This is a way of including everyone in education, especially the disadvantaged. The educational revolution comprehends that education starts from birth. That what occurs in the first five years of life counts. That once elementary education is completed, only a small step has been taken. You have to go further, start high school, continue a university degree, and obtain one of several postgraduate degrees, because the real transformation has to do with open opportunities for all. This means that when one stage is finished, new stages start. And to have access to them, economic, geographical, and social barriers must be eliminated. And here is the second action. The educational revolution is focused on empowering our competencies so they are useful in all aspects of life. I've asked myself many times, why do we need an education? Today's education has the purpose of leading each one of us to be more, to carry out our life plan, to develop our talents, to develop our competencies. Its goal is to make us capable of recognizing our needs and those of our country, to respond to today's challenges. Therefore, its purpose is to make us competent in our environment and to give us the tools to interpret today's world so we are productive, creative, and innovative. If individual innovation talents are developed and so are the collective talents for competitiveness, the country will be able to grow, progress, and lead. The educational revolution bets on the empowering of the educational institutions. This is possible when teachers prepare themselves, when there's investment in infrastructure, when a project for new technologies is completed at a school, when collective standards are set or opportunities for school governments are opened, those who benefit are us, the students. The educational revolution knows that all of us, students, teachers, parents, and the educational community in general should have the tools that allow us, the ones who study, to have a quality education and those who teach to give such an education. And this is why the idea of permanent modernization comes into play, as another one of the big ideas of this educational revolution. At this point, it is important to understand that modernization is a process of permanent updating, which allows the educational sector to be current in a world that is constantly changing. In today's education, private and public schools or teaching centers are not islands. 
Today's information systems and management tools are shared. Work is done with performance indicators. Processes are certified. The education we receive is open to new findings, new achievements, and the country's new realities. We are all connected, thus optimizing resources, strengthening the complete system. Our fifth action is about participation. Education is ours. We all build it together. We all think it through. We are all a part of it. The educational revolution reflects the democratic and participatory spirit of our political constitution. It has shown us that education is a matter that involves all of society, not just a few. Yes, it is a matter for all society. It is a national matter. We are all participating in building of the 10-year plans. We can express our ideas online. Now we can participate in building the educational projects that we want. The institutions have their own voice. They are autonomous. So are minorities, the companies, and all the regions. There has been a space and opportunity to listen to everyone. These five big actions that are transforming the country's education are the heart and soul of the educational revolution. It is a process that, as the saying goes, is here to stay. Now the challenge is to help it grow, to incorporate it into our pushing spirits so that it is useful in successfully taking on crisis of our times. It is a fact. History will record this revolution as one of the great steps that we are taking to build a peaceful country where our dreams are possible. A truly democratic country, inclusive and equal, that is educating itself to successfully face the new millennium's challenges. <laughs>